May we move now to the first row? My name is Vinod. I'm a sales engineer. This is my cousin. As per Quran, the mankind has come to earth through Adam and Eva. How they developed the mankind through their own children and how it is spread through all over the world. How can we agree? Well, that was the question that according to the Quran, the humankind came from Adam and Eve, peace be upon them. How come all the human beings were born? What he's saying is right as the Quran says in Surah Jura, chapter 49, verse number 13. Ya yu wa nasu inna khalaq naakum min zakin wa unsa wa jal naakum shu'ubaw wa qaba'i la li ta'arafu inna kramuk min dalla yatkaakum inna la'alim khabir which means O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you may recognize each other not that you may despise each other and the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa This verse of the Quran says that we humankind have been created from a single pair of male and female Adam and Eve your basic question is, how did the human beings then evolve? What are you trying to tell me that how were the children born? Adam and Eve, through them we had many children. Cain, Abel, Habil, Kabil mentioned in the Quran. Fine, that's easy to understand. But how did they procreate? Indirectly asking that, what about incest? That means, can a brother and sister marry or not? The laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the basic law is the same, there's one God, etc. Salah and everything. But the minute things keep on changing depending upon the time. Today, according to all the scriptures, whether it be Quran, whether it be Bible, incest is haram. That means, marrying or having sex with the blood brother sister is prohibited. But at the time of Adin alayhi salam, this was not the law. The law was that Whenever the children were born, the brothers and sisters born in the same delivery, they were prohibited from marrying each other. But brothers and sisters from different delivery, it's possible. So that was the law that time. Because humanity had to expand. Later on, the law came that blood brothers and sisters, irrespective of the same delivery or other delivery, they should not marry. So this is the law today. Because Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 3, On this day have I completed your religion for you and have chosen for you Islam and complete the favor on you. After this, 1400 years back, when the Quran was revealed, Surah Maida chapter 5 verse number 3, after this, nothing new can be added, nothing can be subtracted from the Quran. We have to follow it. But previously, the minor laws were different. At the time of Adil Salam, brothers and sisters from the same Delhi were prohibited to marry. At the Delhi, they could. That's how the humanity expanded and how now we have more than 6 billion people. Hope that answers the question. May we...